It's me, Lisa T, coming at you with some positive energy, reading The Language of Letting Go by Melody Beattie, moving closer here. <laughs> okay, so we are reading August 7th, August 7th, let's see what it has to say, August 7th, saying no, ooh, yes, saying no. That was hard for me. I had, I felt like, you know, if someone asked me to be somewhere, I had to say yes. If someone asked me to do something, I had to say yes. Despite if it didn't feel good for me, despite if it didn't work for me, despite if it felt like, oh, well, that's going to interrupt like this need that I'm being, that, that I need to get met. Um, I just, I was a yes girl and uh, saying no um, was a challenge for me. Um, and then after I would say no and I'd feel like, oh, I set a boundary and I did something good. Immediately, I would, well, not immediately, but within a few moments, I would feel like, oh, God, we, maybe I, like, there would be this no guilt. I would feel guilt that I should have said yes. It's really, you know, it's a, it's a, because it was a new territory for me to say what works for me, ask myself what works for me, um, and then recognize it's okay if I'm not at that, you know, family reunion, or it's okay if I'm not, I, you know, it, 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 everything will be okay. Um, but there was this fear that, oh gosh, no, like those people are now going to think what's wrong with Lisa or they're going to think like, how dare she? Or, you know, I was worried about what they would think. And, you know, now I know what they think is none of my business. <laughs> and at the end of the day, actually, what I learned is they don't think those thoughts about me um, because I didn't, because I couldn't make it um, or because I couldn't do what was asked of me. <clears throat> so say no, August 7th. So. For many of us, the most difficult word to say is one of the shortest and easiest in the vocabulary. No is a full sentence. N-O is a full sentence as well. With one of my good friends, I, we always we make it a two-syllable no. And we like, no -ah. No -ah. <laughs> um, Because we were, it was interesting for us to learn that, like, saying it. It was like, oh, my goodness. So we made, we, you know, we, we made enjoyment out of it. So, yeah. It's one of the shortest and easiest in the vocabulary. And it's a full sentence. So, no, go ahead and say it aloud. No, <laughs> no, simple to pronounce, hard to say. That's like recovery. Recovery is a simple process. The 12 steps of recovery of whether, again, whether it's for eating anonymous, overeaters anonymous, gamblers anonymous, alcoholics anonymous, narcotics anonymous. Um, I think there should be a coffee anonymous <laughs> for me. <laughs> I actually looked it up uh, six years ago. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's simple, but hard to say it's simple. The 12 steps are simple, but they're not easy to do because they're pulling us out of our comfort zone. They're flipping us on our heads. They're making us do something at the opposites of what we've been used to, uh, of what we've been used to been doing, what, what we're used to, what we are used to doing. Um, so yeah, no, simple to pronounce, but hard to say. We're afraid people won't like us or we'll feel guilty. Like I just explained, we may believe that a good employee child, parent, spouse, or Christian never says no. I remember, no, I'm going to be a good person and say yes. I'm going to be a good person and say yes. But I was being, trying to be good to them, but I was not being good to myself. So, um, yeah, we may believe that a good employee, child, parent, spouse, Christian, etc., never says no. The problem is we don't learn to say no. We stop liking ourselves and the people we always try to please. People pleasing. People pleasing will get you into a spot where you end up feeling resentment because you're like, uh, so also another thing I learned with my learned with my people pleasing was that I would say yes oh yeah I'll do it I'll do it I'm there for you I'm the, and then people end up taking advantage of that they don't mean to it's not malicious but they'll, they'll be like oh Lisa always says yes oh Lisa so people end up taking advantage of that and then I ended up thinking to myself like oh gosh don't they think this and don't they know that how dare they you know and so the people pleasing ended up uh, turning on me and made me feel bad about myself and, and resent myself and others for no good reason, for no good reason. <laughs> uh, the problem is we don't learn to say no. We stop liking ourselves and the people we always try to please. We may even punish others out of resentment, like in some manipulative, um, controlling way or a passive aggressive way. You know, you punish someone, you try to anyways. So when we, when do we say no? When no is what we really mean. It's again about getting honest with ourselves, getting get get getting to our truths. So, when do we say no? When no is really what we mean. When we learn to say no, we stop lying, and I'll add to ourselves mainly. People can trust us, and we can trust ourselves. So when you start to say no, when it's required, people trust you that when you do say yes, you mean it, and that and you know like when you do say no, it's for a good reason. 
So people end up trusting us more and we can trust ourselves. All sorts of good things happen when we start saying what we mean. Say what you mean. Speak your truth. Be true to yourself. Be true to the world. If, we, if we're scared to say no, we can buy some time. We can take a break, rehearse the word, and go back and say no later. So take a moment. Take a break. Like say, mm, I need to think about this for a second. You're allowed to take a pause. You're allowed to sleep on something. You're allowed to take a moment to think it through. Um, we don't have to offer, offer long explanations for our decisions. And like I said, no is a full sentence. You do not have to explain why I used to do that too. I was this hypervigilance or this thing. You know, I would say if I had to say no and like there was no other way, I had to say no, no other way. And I had to say no, I would be like, no, I can't because this and blah, 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 blah. And I would feel this need to over explain myself to justify my no. I don't have to justify my no to someone. Again, no is a full sentence. It's a full explanation. So we don't have to offer long explanations for our decisions. When we can say no, we can say yes to the good. Our no's and our yeses begin to take are begin to be taken seriously. We gain control of ourselves and we learn a secret that no isn't really that hard to say. Yay! Here's your prayer for today. Today I will say no if that's what I mean. Today, I will say no, if it's what I mean. Amen. Thanks for watching. Love you all.